Hey guys and welcome back to another video. I am Stay Stace and I'm so happy that you're here today. So in this video I'm going to talk about some Cocorosa Studio dies. Remember that you can get 25% off of your entire order at Cocorosa Studio by using my code which is STACE25. Okay so the first die I'm going to talk about is this one and this is the light bulb. So when I first saw this die, I immediately thought that I would make this a shaker, even though it only comes in the one piece. I really do wish that it came with another piece that cut out in a solid piece so that you could um, cut out the acetate and the background with it. But that is OK. So when you cut out this die, it cuts out into this shape right here, which I think is super cute. So it hollows out this section right here. And then you also have this piece in the middle like this. And if you can see, it does have some embossing in the base of the bulb, which I think that it's really cute as well, especially on some like metallic type paper. So I did make a shaker. I had to manually do it, but I did make a shaker out of this, you guys. And look how cute it turned out. I think that it is super, super cute. And to make my shaker, I actually used the five millimeter foam by Silly Winks. And you can get this from um, Hobby Lobby. And so this is how it came out. Um, I did use the white, even though they do have many other colors. I have it in pink and red as well. I just kind of forgot that I had those. Um, so yeah, that's the five millimeter foam. And then I also use some of this iridescent cardstock here, which is actually a poster board that I cut up. I also got that from Hobby Lobby. And then I just got these bows in from Deborah Chilling Bags. Thank you, Deborah, if you're watching. And so she created all of these beautiful little bows for me. And so I just pop the bow right here on top of this the shaker bits in here came from um, park lane they came from tuesday morning and i think that, that was super cute and then i used one of these hearts in the middle and i really can't tell you where i got this heart from it was either hobby lobby or michael's though I think that this light bulb embellishment came out really, really nice and it has a really nice shake to it. Now, the little shaker bits that I have in here are really, really, really staticky. Um, and I did not add any seed beads or anything like that to it because I really like the color the way that it is. And I think that it would be super cute on a card, which brings me to this. Like, I think that it would be super cute on a card like this. But, but here, I went ahead on and double layered this paper. So I have this panel going this way and then the other one going straight. This is a regular A2 size card for a size reference as well. And I forgot to put like a decorative paper in the background and then I tried to lift it up, but it was a whole mess because my adhesive was sticking, y'all. But I went ahead on and die cut out the light bulb in this gold iridescent poster board again and created this shape on it and I think that it is so cute and maybe you guys can see now really well that embossing that it does and I think that that is just so super cute and because this die didn't come with the filament I kind of freehand drew it on top of the acetate so it's not inside of the acetate and then I just kind of like drew these like light marks so um, it definitely looks like a light bulb and then I went ahead on and dashed around the edges just to create a little bit more interest and this light the way was from a sticker book by Tim Holt. I believe these like Tim Holtz ideology um, sticker books with nothing but the word sentiments in it. So I think that it turned out super cute. So that is embellishment number one and card number one. And then you guys, my absolute favorite. I created this one. I love, love, love this one. And so I cut this one out in like a matte gold cardstock. And on both of these for the base of the bulb, I actually cut it out twice. And then I stacked it up on some um, dimensional foam tape here. And so it does have a little bit of dimension here. And I think that it is so cute. For the background of this light bulb, I used the paper that was in the Valentine's Day paper pad um, from Hobby Lobby. And then for 
the wire part, the filament part here. I actually used the floral wire from Dollar Tree and I just looped it around three times and came up with this little shape. And then I high glued it right down to the acetate. And I think that that turned out super, super cool. I would love to make a few more of these because it was really, really easy to make. The cup sequence in it, I wanted to be all one color. So I didn't go crazy doing a shaker mix in here. I wanted to be just like this. Um, um, because I thought that that was super cute. I wanted to see the flowers and everything and it's really pretty paper too. And so I kind of carried the flowers out into like light reflection that the light bulb is making. And you guys, let me show you. So my friend Jessica with Jessica Lila Cards and Crafts gave me some of this Pearl X pigments and that is what I used on here. I just took some washi tape and kind of like lined off where I wanted it. And then I just applied the Pearl X with a little brush and I think that it turned turned out super cute added a few more sequins here and she also gifted me this shine a while back so I think that that is super cute if you can see the offset layer on here is actually done with vellum so I think that that is really really cute I absolutely love this car I do want to make like a lot more of these so I don't have anything on the inside and I don't have my sticker on the back yet but it's coming so love 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 that okay And then you guys, the next die that I want to talk about is this one. This is the cutting die with a mechanical heart. So this die, I immediately thought that I was a little bit ambitious for getting. It looked like a complete puzzle. It looked like way too many pieces. But you guys, it actually wasn't that bad. So these are the two hearts that I did with it. And let me just show you one thing. The size on these are totally different so i can say because this die doesn't come like with a base or a background or anything like this you kind of you're free to do what you want to do on here if you guys get this die and you want to see how i put it together then i have to make another video for that um i didn't do it while i was doing these because i really wasn't sure how it was going to turn out but basically i went ahead on and i cut out this entire die i didn't want to take the die parts a piece so i cut out the entire die all together like this in red pink and in gold and then I did like pieces of it in the silver glitter paper using scraps to do this part so I couldn't cut out the whole thing because my scrap piece wasn't big enough so that was the first step is just cutting everything out and they stayed pretty much in the paper like I didn't have to punch them out right away so they all pretty much stayed together and so I took this piece and this piece and pasted it to a piece of paper. So on this one, my background piece of paper was this hot pink color. And on this one, my background paper was black. And so that was my base. So I took these two pieces, kind of made out how I wanted my heart to go. On this one, I overlapped the piece right here. And on this one, I didn't. Um, and I think that's how this one came out a little bit smaller, but I actually really, really love this one. And then once I had had my shape I went ahead on and I cut all around it so it's not perfect it didn't have to be perfect on the back um if I wanted to I could still put this on another base and then cut around it so it can actually be perfect but I do plan on putting this on a card front so you won't even see the back so to me that doesn't matter on this one it's a little bit cleaner so um, so that's also something to consider guys when you're putting this mechanical heart together you don't have to follow my example you don't have to follow the examples that are already on Coco Rosa Studios website you can freestyle and do your own thing put your cog wheels and your nail heads and everything where you want them to go where it makes sense for you obviously where you have some holes and things you kind of want to put a wheel that probably matches the same size there but other than that go crazy so on this one I have like an extra wheel right here in the center on this one I don't but I think that both of them still turned out really really fabulous on here I have a little cog wheel here and on this one I don't and it's still really really pretty 
So leave it to me to make something that's probably more of a steampunk theme and make it to something that's kind of cutesy. <laughs> um, so I really, really, really like this. It still comes with so many wheel pieces. I can do many more things with this and put it in many more shapes. So I really think that this die is a great addition to my collection because now I can make all types of like little steampunk things. I also have a little Sizzix cog wheel. 3D embossing folder that I think that those wheels would go really, really nice with as well. So I'm really, really happy with the way that this turned out. And you guys, I wanted to go ahead on and put this one on a card base. So this is what I have so far for my card base. This is a regular A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And I made this red panel about a quarter inch less on all sides. And then I double wonky stitched it in gold, which I think is super cute. And this is my favorite, I guess you can say Valentine's Day um, song. It's Funny Valentine. And I love the rendition by Shaka Khan that was on the Waiting to Exhale soundtrack. And so I printed this out off of Google and then I splattered all kinds of paint on it. So there's gold, there's black, and there's red. And then I just tore the edges of it. So I think I'm going to have it just right here like that. Matter of fact, let me get my tape. Let's do that. And this is just on regular copy paper. So I don't want it to, okay, so I don't want the tape to go all the way around here and I'm just going to pop it right here and so that way it can still look like it's kind of coming off the paper. I might even curl that up just a little bit more and then here's my heart. I think I want that to go maybe right here. So let's get some adhesive on the back of here. Okay. So I am going to smack my heart right here. And then I have some extra little pieces. So maybe this one I can kind of slide right here. What does that look like? Maybe another gold one right here. Okay, what do you guys think? Okay, let's put that down. Okay, guys, what do you think? I think that that is super, super cute. I like it. And of course, I still need to put something on the inside. I think this will be super cute with like some wheels on the inside as well. And then my stamp on the back. But how precious is that? You guys, leave me a comment and let me know. Is this something that you would be interested in putting together with all of these pieces? I swear it is so satisfying. Okay, so this is what I have for you today from Cocorosa Studios. You guys definitely go and check them out and get that 25% off using my code STACE25. And remember to like this video, leave me a comment, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And until the next time, bye!